I'm here with my mates uh, BMW 135i and we're going to be ragging it around today seeing what it's like so um, let's just get straight to it cool so yeah here with my mate Joe uh, with his BMW M135i so yeah Joe uh, why did you choose this car? Um, well to be honest I had an Alba uh, 595 before this yeah and I suppose I wanted a bit more of a, a bit more power from from my daily driver so nothing too big so I thought with the M2 or the M135i and I found this at a good price so I said yeah why not let's go for it oh not bad not bad so like what was the price range for it then so for one of these you can try and pick one up for about 14 to 15 in good condition oh man um, even as low as potentially like 12 if it's high miles but obviously uh, depending on your preference and your budget so yeah what have you got done to it so far so I haven't done crazy amounts to it I've there's a, a full Maxton um, body kit on it, so the, the front splitter, yeah, um, and then the diffuser as well around the back, as well as the M2 carbon wings, um, which I think just gives that like a, an aggressive styling to it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's this is the diffuser too. But in terms of a lot of what's done to the car, it's kind of underneath the the bonnet as such, um, and underneath the the engine bay. So we've got. A stage two tune on it, um, intake manifold. Uh, it's uh, sport catted, so it's uh, pretty loud. I think it's running about. Uh, last time I changed about three three nine five to four hundred brake horsepower. On That's the dyno, solid, so, geez. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, plenty enough. Yeah, plenty enough for the road, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you don't need more than exactly. that. You don't so. need more than that. <laughs> yeah, the diffuser on this car just looks so so sick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I lo love the Maxton work. I think there's there's a few companies out there are doing a different style, but I definitely thought. The Maxton look the best one, so yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, and uh, is this like a special edition car or? So yeah, with this is is the Shadow Edition. Um, un unbeknown to me because I didn't really have a clue what I was buying at the time, but I think I picked up quite a good spec. Um, yeah, and and in the interior as well, spec as well. So yeah, pretty yeah. happy with it. <laughs> yeah, should we get ragging around? Yeah, let's do it. That let's sounds do it. good. Sounds good. <laughs> the lowest sport yeah? yeah yeah it's pretty fast isn't it so uh, what engine do you have in it so this is the n55 um bmw when they released the new version of this car which uh -huh. a lot of people don't really like the shape of they put they reduce the cylinders from six to four so this has the six cylinder engine in it all oh, right yeah um it's uh yeah <laughs> it, i think i think bmw fans everywhere will love this engine um and rightly so. So they're quite, I bet they're quite limited then, aren't they, the six cylinders? Now they are, because obviously they don't make this car anymore. They've upgraded it to the new model. So yeah. this car is, yeah, quite sought after. Oh, um, it's got a lot of oomph for, uh, what, what sport mode is this again? You said first sport mode? This is sport plus now. Sport plus, all right, yeah. Um, and then obviously you can turn off the dynamic control for extra slidey motion. Extra but. slidey motion, but it's an icy day, guys. So yeah. I think yeah. we're gonna like skip on the uh, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna we'll skip on it, the we'll complete, yeah, keep it safe, yeah. But um, in terms of obviously the the want for these cars, because they don't make this car in this engine size anymore. Yeah, like this this sort of model has gone up in value a lot. So since I bought yeah, it, I think yeah. I've I've gained about three grand on the car. Really? Yeah. So yeah. If I was to sell it, even though I've put miles on it, I would uh, gain money. So probably it, even more possible. now because of uh, the car market and things too. Well, yeah, 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 exactly. It's crazy. I think the used car market is um, it's definitely gone up in value. So uh, it's yeah. still, I'd still recommend anyone to if they've got some uh, cash laying about and they want a fun daily driver, go for the M135i or the 140i. Yeah, I mean, completely agree. You know, like you can, you need like a rear wheel drive car to have the fun, don't you? Like yeah. four wheels is fun, but four wheel drive is fun, but you know. I mean, when I was uh, I was looking at the car market, so I looked at the RS3 and yeah. the the A Class AMG for potentials as you know new daily drivers. Yeah. And something that I, when I test drove all three of them, they were fun. 
and definitely the RS3 and the Merc were quicker off the line because obviously yeah, they're sure. all-wheel drive. Um, but in the, the straights, this definitely beats that. It, it, yeah, it, sure. it depended on the, the like obviously the spec of uh, of the vehicle, but it's just this is more um, feels more connected as a driver uh, uh, in terms of like when you when you are putting the foot down to the ground. Um, the car isn't necessarily going to save you from all, no, all inevitability, really, yeah. so you do have to be a little bit more sensible. Um, but also, it, it makes for a funner drive. So. Yeah, definitely a funner drive. <laughs> um, yeah. But I heard the um, the back end of these cars can be quite twitchy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Very much so. If you put a bit too much blip around the around the corner, then you are going into a bush. Yeah. Just saying, guys, that we're. Um, well, right now we haven't like fully ragged it yet, have no, we? We're, no, we're just no keeping it yet. safe right now. Icy road conditions. When we're on a proper road, we'll proper send it. Yeah, proper yeah. Send it. But listen to that engine sound, dude. That engine is ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like music, isn't it? It's so good. It's so good, man. Uh, oh yeah, hopefully we'll get some open roads so oh, we can uh, yeah. open up the throttle. It, yeah. I think um, in terms of obviously like what this car's running, so I've got this on Michelin Pilot Sports. Yeah, it's like a it's a must, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, it's yeah. Fast. I think if you if you if you're gonna go for a high performance car, then then your tyres need to be in line with that as well. Don't skimp out on the tyres. Oh. It really like the rear wheel drive aspect as well, with all that BHP and torque, really just throws you back in your seat, doesn't it? Well, the torque way outweighs the BHP for the, even though this, yeah. the, the brake horsepower is quite high as it is, I'd say it's running about 405, but it's surrounding uh, 536 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Solid. Um, so yeah, you definitely feel it. Yeah, and you got this, um, you got this car straight pipe, correct? No, 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 oh. I, I straight piped it myself. No, so, it, so no, sorry, it's not straight piped. I got it completely stock in terms of the exhaust, but we yeah. got the M Sport um, back box on it, and oh, it's right. deep. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be cut out. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh the pops and bangs. Oh. You know what? You need, you need a short shifter in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The new models probably have DSG, right? They do. They do yeah. yeah. What place is it again? It's a 20... 20. This is a 2014. 2014 player. All oh, right. Um, so, not not one of the newer ones, but the, this is the the free door. Yeah. Um, they're coming in a, in a four door and a go three on, door. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> honestly smiles for miles. It's, it's all about that, right? Like gas, gas prices as well. Like, like, it's all about smiles for miles. Uh, yeah, when you drive a car, you want to smile, don't you? Absolutely. You want it, you want a car to, to make you grin from ear to ear, and that's exactly what it does. Yeah. I don't even know if the audio is going to get picked up. To be honest, with the uh, with how loud the car is. It, it is. It's very quiet in the cabin. Um, you think so? It's fairly loud. I'll, I'll, go on, put, I'll put down the window a tad bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Let's hear it now, hold on. Oh, oh the twitching! The twitching's there! <laughs> the, twitch, the twitching is there. The twitching, the twitching's definitely there. <laughs> This, this car, dude. Every time we were like, like, every time I'm in a fast car, because I work from home, right? So I don't really need like a car, really. Yeah. But every time I get in like a fast car or like a rear wheel drive car and it just like sends you in the back of your seat, I, I'm always like, oh, is it worth just spending like the 15, 16 grand, even though I'm only going to drive like what, two, twice a week? Yeah, I think if you work hard, why not enjoy enjoy, enjoy your, your, your labour yeah. of, of, of love, right? And, Absolutely. And something that I've always. When, when I've looked at a career aspect is I want to be successful because I like my cars. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's a massive motivator for a lot of people. Yeah, it? some it's people want a fancy house. Like and don't get me wrong, everyone wants a fancy house, but I want a nice car outside. Yeah, absolutely, fancy yeah. House. Um, well, yeah, I mean, if it's a nice car, you can live out your car as well, you don't need a house. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And to be honest, I'm the same as you. I work from home, so yeah. um, I don't get to drive it as much as I suppose I'd like. But then again, when I do drive it, it's special. So, to uh, be like, I mean, it's a bit of a payoff, isn't it? It's kind of like nice to your wallet that you have to have to drive it yeah, daily, right? I like, mean, I mean, when I had my R bath, I I drove that high mileage every year, and I just got kind of sick of driving. Yeah. I remember there got to a point where I was driving uh, easily 
up to 80 miles a day on a weekly basis to and from the university. Yeah. I just got sick of driving on motorways. I got sick of driving the car and I didn't enjoy the other fun, yeah. Much. I don't think I'll ever get over that. I, don't, I just don't think I'll Is this, this is full throttle, isn't it, at this point? Uh, I'll, I'll give it full throttle around the time. Oh, though. okay. So you haven't even a full throttle yet? No. That's insane. No, you've got to be sensible insane. to some extent. You've got to be right? sensible, yeah, yeah, of course. I see David. I don't know. Like, that's insane. I just assumed it was full throttle the whole time. Because no. like, how it's just pushed me back. The turbo spool <laughs> is very quick in this car, which yeah. I was very surprised. You can about. hear it, actually. You can yeah, hear a little yeah. bit of spooling, can't you? But. Yeah, there's a difference, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a sick car, dude. What yeah, a sick fun, car. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But I think um, when it when it comes to, to, obviously, I haven't, on the main roads, I, I definitely don't like go crazy with it, but something that I recommend everyone do if they are looking at a car like this is don't track it. Absolutely, um, yeah. That, Just don't spin out on it. Yeah, no, 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 obviously that's an expensive mistake, but go to your local track. Um, they're not that expensive actually. They're just go to like an amateur event. Oh, um, track day? Yeah, 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 exactly. And then just uh, enjoy it then. And I suppose it also teaches you how to use the car as well. That's true. You don't really get to like drive it to the full extent. Have you taken yeah. this? Have you tracked this car yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, not, not many times. <laughs> I think it's only, only been twice, but. Um, experience both times so i think when i previously saw you mm -hmm. this car you said it was stage one yeah yeah right that's the first time i saw this car yeah so since then what have you added to it to make it stage two so the it's that air intake is a massive for the stage two yeah um and the cooler um the radiator is massive too so this is an upgrade on the radiator and the, the intake manifold as well um so obviously i think it's just allows more airflow yeah, uh, otherwise you're going to be blowing up the engine, which no one wants. Which is, no, no. But these, 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 uh, these M55s are, are good up to 700 brake horsepower. Oh, sorry. Um, like, or, or even further, depending on if, you, if you're boring it out. Um, but you, yeah, you can get a lot of power from these yeah. things. They're built to be uh, pushed on there. Really. Yeah, I mean, on stage two, you could go way, way more Yeah. Um, than I have. But I suppose... I just, just I haven't thought to think about going any more than this. I think this is enough for me. Yeah, for sure. I was just going to ask you, do you reckon you'd ever go for a stage three? But I guess not. No, nah, probably not, in my opinion. I think it, I'll enjoy this car for another couple of years or maybe another year, but then I'm thinking about upgrading something a bit oh, spicier. Yeah. What are you um, thinking about? Um, well, I don't know if I should go electric or not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that's but, the question, isn't it? But if not, I was looking at the M2 Comp. Yeah. Potentially an M3. Uh, and I know a lot of people say, why would you get an M2 Comp when it's the same engine as this? I, I just love the styling of the, the M2 Comp. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I was hesitant to go towards BMW because of how common they are. Right? Yeah, they are. They are quite common. But, but well, I suppose once you get the sports versions and like obviously the M, M powers. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, when you're sitting in a car. There's a reason why people don't turn back from them. Yeah, exactly. Like once you're in a car and you're behind the wheel, like. I mean, the outside does matter, don't get me wrong, but once you're in there behind the wheel, it's all about the power, really, isn't yeah, it? Like, that's all you care about. And if it's good performance, then it doesn't really matter. Oh, what an amazing car, dude. Absolutely astounding car. You can see the wheel spinning a bit yeah, around, yeah, like, yeah. you feel it, I've right? actually you know? got the DSG stuff. That's how, hold on. You got the what? I'll turn off the, the full traction, so the DSC is off now. All right, DSC. I was going to say, this car's got DSG, yeah. Let yeah, yeah, <laughs> me turn it out off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that twitches. <laughs> that twitches. <laughs> and obviously, it doesn't use any of the the controls to limit the throttle as well. Yeah, it's so good. It's, it's just all you. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. twitching. <laughs> You've got a sport, um, Mission Sport 4 S's, right? Uh, yeah, Pilot they, Sports. Oh, Pilot Sports. Still, though, yeah. that's got a, it's like a couple hundred per wheel. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, burn yeah. out too quick, mate. I think one of the best things about this car is you can turn all the driver aids off. I know you can do yeah. that in most cars anyway, but you really feel it. Yeah, yeah, in a, yeah. In a back, in a, you know, in a rear wheel drive car like this, you can literally just send it around like any corner if you wanted to. And like, like there you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> that, was, that, was good. that was good. How often do you do that then? 
no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, imagine. No. But that's, that's that's first time, guys. First time. That's why it's important <laughs> to understand your car before you put it. Absolutely. Like, because yeah. if if you're not confident to do that sort of stuff, then why, so, why don't, don't do it? Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> that's like eighteen grand bin right there. So. Yeah, don't do it if you if you don't know what you're doing. Know your cars first, guys. Get used to your car. Be sensible. Be sensible, and then rag it around when it's safe. Yeah, when it's safe right. to do yeah, something. And legal. Enjoy it. That is so good. I'm gonna take some shots of your car. Why is it so quiet today? I'll take it. Yo guys, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks Joe as well for letting me use this car. If you uh, like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff because that definitely helps me grow as a channel. And uh, yeah, stick around for the next one. I believe I've got a GT86 video coming up on the line and that should be pretty good because that car is pretty sick. But anyways, um, catch you in the next one. Peace.